Matt LaFleur, the guy who is entering year five as head coach of the Green Bay Packers after four years with Aaron Rodgers, 13 wins each of his first three seasons, now has Jordan Love as his quarterback. LaFleur recently explaining to reporters what he would like to see from Jordan Love in his first year as the starting quarterback. Certainly, you want to give him every opportunity. You, you can't give him enough reps. And so... Um, but just making those incremental improvements and becoming more consistent on a daily basis. And, uh, but I'm really excited, and he's definitely uh, has complete command of our offense. There's no doubt about it. He, he's put the work in. He knows the ins and outs, and um, it's, now it's going to apply that in a real situation. Likely to play him a significant amount in the preseason. Then? Uh, potentially, uh, like I said, it's going to be fluid, and we'll adjust accordingly. So, uh, look, they need to get him ready. They need to get him to the point where the game slows down for him. And remember, Aaron Rodgers sat three years. Jordan Love sat three years. Aaron Rodgers, his first year was not Aaron Rodgers. That's right. It takes time yeah you need to have some patience you need to let the guy learn the game become more comfortable and and also work his way out of the shadow of his predecessor Aaron Rodgers worked his way out of Brett Favre's shadow Jordan Love needs to work his way out of Aaron Rodgers shadow so these are all factors and that's why I think that we should be very measured in our expectations for the Packers this year I still think they can be better than people realize yeah but we can't just expect Jordan Love to step right in and be great. There are going to be some bumps and bruises along the way, and it's going to take some time for him to become whatever the best version of Jordan Love is going to be. Yeah, that's right. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for him. You know, one, yeah, I'm sure he's going to play a little bit more than most starters in the preseason, yes, but I don't think they're going to overdo it. You know, you got to, you know, he's, he's still their starter and their guy, and they don't want to risk that. Right. But yeah, they got to find the formula and, and what works for Jordan Love in this offense and, and how are they going to make their stamp as far as what it's going to look like. That's what I'm kind of excited. Right. I mean, Rodgers, we know all time great and he can cover up a lot of holes when he's really playing his best football. But we also saw, and you've heard me say, and we've, break in, we've broken down a lot of plays where, yeah, the last two years, it's become a little conservative, and it's a lot of dink and dunk, and ooh, let me get it out quick, and let's just go to second and six, so we'll get the third and two, and then I'll get a four-yard completion, and we'll go from there. That's where I, I think this offense, in some ways, Mike, is going to be more exciting than what we saw from the Green Bay Packers the last few years. I think there's a chance there. You know, and, you know, like you've been saying all along, this team is good. They, they underperformed last year. They had a lot of crap going on that I think distracted them. The D has got a ton of talent. You know, we see that, and they underperform, and they were still, what, the number 10 defense in football or 11? They'll be better. They're going to run the ball. We know that. They got a good old line in those running backs. And here's where I think it could be cool, Mike. I think, you know, for a guy like Jordan Love, I think you're going to see run the ball, run the ball, play action. Whoa, there goes Dabs and Watson down the field, and we're going to take shots. It's not going to be dink and dunk. It's going to be, let's look for a 25-yard gain right here when you drop back to pass. And I think that's a good formula for Jordan Love, and I think it could be exciting football to watch when when Green Bay kind of gets going and finally figures it all out. And again, they're in the NFC North, which is wide open. The NFC, other than the 49ers and the Eagles, up for grabs as to who makes it to the playoffs. I won't be surprised if the Packers make it. It's going to be difficult this year when it's time for us to make our perfunctory because this is what we do. We're supposed to know what's going to happen. Playoff predictions. AFC, who the hell knows because they're all so good. NFC, who the hell knows because most of them are not so good. And somebody's got to rise up and get the playoff berths. And Chris, I've been thinking for weeks now. I may I may put the Packers in as a wild card team or maybe even as a division champion. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think they're they're in that thought process for me as well. Definitely. But like to your point, with all that you just said there and all that, I can promise you I'm gonna have the Eagles and the Chiefs in the AFC and NFC championship game. Now it's just gonna be who are they gonna be playing. Uh, that 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 I can promise you I'm going with there. But yeah, it's uh it'll be interesting to see. Green Bay has the pieces to be one of those teams that jumps on the scene to where we go, ooh, you know, they might not be the 49ers roster or the Eagles roster, but we can sit there and go, ooh, man, 
You know, you break them down, and if they can stay healthy and have a Rashawn Gary back looking the way he's supposed to and the two first-round picks from Georgia last year, it's another year from them, and Kenny Clark and Preston Smith is still there. Their cornerback duo and Jair Alexander and Stokes, it's arguably some of the best in football there. The middle linebacker plays good. The O-line, the tight ends, the receivers, the running back. When you start to break down the Packers, you start to go, their roster really is probably still the best in the NFC North. For my money, I think in totality, I think it is. But we'll see. You know, there's some some moving parts, and there's a new guy at quarterback, and we'll see if they can put it all together. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.